hi guys yeah i'm finally back with my monthly video did you guys miss me i'm gonna be honest i've been in a little bit of like an artistic slump and i'll make something i'll hate it delete it make something hate it delete it and so then my channel is barren for months on end weeks you know it doesn't help how i'm doing sports again so i'm, I'm you know less time than usual to to make any kind of content but um we truck on i like these sit down and talk videos because they're a lot easier for me to make and it's it's a lot less stress and pressure than animating so yay today i'm gonna be talking about shit that traumatized me as a kid and i got this idea from wendy goon when he was talking about his childhood traumas i love that guy that's my goat right there and before I start talking about the shit that traumatized me as a kid, I just want to let you guys know that, like, I have, I, I think I was born with some horrible anxiety disorder or something, because I've always been a worrier and, like, an overthinker, and I, I was born pusillanimous. I'm scared of everything, so you're probably going to see some of this stuff and be like, what the hell, this is not scary at all, all right? Well, you know, I traumatized myself as a kid, all right? Yeah. I'm going to start this off with something that relates to my channel. FNAF, um, I've actually only played FNAF 1. I can't play the, the rest of the games, they're too scary to me. They're just way too scary to me, like, especially 3. No, I could never play 3. But, that didn't really scare me. The game itself, watching the gameplay over and over again as like an 8 year old, it didn't scare me at all, no. But what did scare me was the Living Tombstones FNAF 1 song. Specifically the beginning part, where you can hear Freddy laughing in the background. For some reason, that just scared me so much. I'm about to play it right now. <laughs> just the, the mix of the music and Freddy laughing in the background, bro, it like, it was horrible. It scared the shit out of me as a kid. And like, I would watch FNAF speed paints, you know, like all chronically online children do. And when they would use that song, bro, I would have to mute the fucking, the fucking video because it was like a trauma response and I would, Get so scared, I couldn't even, no, I couldn't do it. Looking back and looking through all the games and wanting to play the games, FNAF wasn't really that scary. I feel like it was the fandom that made it scary. Like all the fan edits, like juniors, bro, that's terrifying. That is terrifying, but I used to be so scared of Five Nights at Freddy's that I would wake up at 4 a.m. and I would be so scared that the FNAF animatronics were gonna be in my bathroom. Cause my bathroom was like right next to my bedroom. So I was scared they would be in there and I'd, oh my god, i just wake up at 4 a.m. like every night. It was horrible. Another thing that traumatized me because I had unsupervised internet access as a child was the My Little Pony Cupcakes fan animations. Those were so scary to me, but not in the same way FNAF was, where I would like wake up terrified of Freddy Fazbear in my shower, but like thinking about the gore and stuff of it just oh it made my bones hurt something about it just made my bones hurt also i want to reiterate that like i was a little kid when all these things scared me so if you don't think it's scary it probably isn't scary but it might be scary to a 80 year old girl who probably has some sort of ocd or something sorry guys slenderman was another one of those things where because i just watched anything and everything on the internet um i found slenderman and i was scared of slenderman being in my house at 4 a.m. so I would wake up and if I wasn't scared of Freddy I was scared of Slenderman and I was scared he was gonna take me because I heard he liked kids and you know I was eight it's a whole thing but now I'm gonna get into the stuff that really traumatized me as a kid where it triggered my anxiety and kind of like changed my life kind of you'll you'll understand as I explain it I talked a lot about how I had unsupervised internet access and I watched a bunch of stuff relating to the cartoons and media that I liked that I probably shouldn't have watched, but it really wasn't my parents' fault, they were always working, but the one time my parents were home, specifically my mom, I would watch the same things that she would watch and that's usually what would come on sci-fi or chiller on like Saturdays. When I say chiller, it like something in me resonates because I know they took down the channel and it makes me very sad because that's kind of something I grew up on ironically enough. One of these shows was called Beyond Belief Factor Fiction and it's really funny because when I was researching to make this video I couldn't remember the name of the show exactly. I remember Factor Fiction. So for some reason I thought it was Ripley's Believe It or Not Factor Fiction so I was looking that up and I was confused as why I wasn't 
getting any results for it. I was like, oh my god, am I gonna start a new lost media hunt? But no, it was just the wrong name. But I don't remember much from this show, only the one thing that stuck with me because I remember being so scared about it. And the issue with that is, I barely remembered what scared me. Like, I remember that an episode scared me, I remember there being a little black boy and some guy in, in his messed up clothes and he was like repeating a phrase over and over again and the black kid helped him and then like something about his car I, I don't remember exactly so it was really hard I had to look through every single episode um, there were like six seasons so I had to look through every single episode thank goodness it was only in like the second season but I finally found it it was the seventh episode of the second season and the segment was called they towed my car essentially some guy walks around messed up clothes but he was a business suit you know and he just kept repeating the phrase they towed my car they towed my car and nobody would help him except for the little black boy and they took him to the auto mechanic shop and then this is the one part that I remembered but didn't remember it. I remember the guy pointing into the trunk and th his friend was there and he was like oh I also remember the black kid going where'd my friend go and like looking back in this episode man yeah it would traumatize a little kid you know what I mean which is probably why it was made for kids. But I found it and I watched it and I realized I remembered being scared of it, especially since it ended up being kind of like a ghost story and I had a giant fear of ghosts as a kid. I was scared that ghosts were in my apartment all the time. So looking back, I just get all these weird nostalgic memories. It's actually kind of it's kind of nice, guys. It's kind of nice to look at your trauma. Another one of these shows that I watched with my mother that really scared me was called Urban Legend. And within these episodes, there were segments where you had to guess which ones were true and which ones were just urban legends. And in between the telling of these stories, there would be these things called mini myths. Now, some of the stories really did scare me as a kid, such as one where this woman had her guts just um sucked out of a toilet and like a cruise ship or something and another one where like these kids show up to a school and it just no a church and it just blows up in front of made me scared of bombs and stuff and going to church but the mini myths were actually so terrifying to me these are one of the things where i can look back and confidently say yeah i understand why i would be scared of that and how it I understand how people nowadays could be scared of that as well because look at this it's terrifying the art style is terrifying the way they move is uncanny the way they blink is uncanny it's just overall very ugly and uncanny and the fact that some of these stories are true bro these used to keep me up all night. I used to get flashes of these whenever I closed my eyes. I don't know who greenlit this project making it look so choppy and ugly I'm sorry I'm just dissing this show but like overall you know what I'd give it a 9 out of a 10. One of the final ones that I wanted to talk about is another one that um, stuck with me for a very long time and made me so scared. It'd be giving me my biggest fear of death. This show was called A Thousand Ways to Die and it was just a show recounting ways people have obviously died and for some reason this show like really scared me and made me scared of death and seeing the way these people die, seeing how they died, seeing all this, all this, what I perceived as gore as a kid. It was horrible. And I used to be so scared of the show that for years I didn't look at it again. Like I was scared that if I saw it again I'd have like some kind of episode and trigger something and be scared of everything again. But you know what? That wasn't the case. I recently started watching the show again and then looking back it's so unserious. Like all the effects are cheap and sucky. It's sucky CGI. The acting's really funny and the narrator is the lich from Adventure Time. It's Overall, it's like a good comedy show. Like, I don't know why I was ever scared of it. And then my mom obviously said, well, you were a little kid when you watched it. I was like six, seven, eight watching A Thousand Ways to Die. You know, it's not good for my brain, but you know what? I found a new show that I really love, so that's great. I want to do some kind of videos where I watch A Thousand Ways to Die episodes and react to them. So if you're interested in that, um, you know, let me know. This last one is a bit of a bonus, but um, I've recently gotten into Lost Media, and one of the Lost Medias I got into was the unknown song Above the Clouds, which turned out to be a hoax. But it was a DVD loading screen, and it made me realize that all my life I've been so scared of DVD loading screens because I would wake up um, when I didn't have cable, I would wake up and we'd have DVDs, and it would be dark in my room my tv would be on and then it would be the loading screen and then there would be a little 
like window where it would play some of the movie and then it would show the chapters and there would be a song that would be repeating over and over again and i realized i was so scared of those and i can't believe a hoax lost media song made me realize that i'm also interested in making um lost media videos and lost song videos unknown song videos so if you're interested in that please let me um know because i want to do other things on my channel except for fnaf and stuff yeah once again i understand that if you guys don't find this scary you know that says a lot um i'm a very cowardly person and i'm a very anxious person so i find basically anything scary like I, I'm a grown woman and I still sleep with a light on, like a nightlight, so, you know. I really appreciate you watching this video all the way through, though, and maybe we can connect on some of the things that we were scared of as a kid. Probably not. But thank you for watching. Um, comment some things you want to see. I have some video ideas, so maybe I'll get out of this uh, creative slump. Maybe, maybe not. Also, please leave a like because I rendered... Um, all her hair and i forgot that there's white under her hair but like it's okay it's fine i'll put the final product at the end yeah okay thanks for watching oh,